Uh, hi again, it's Derek uh, doing another doodle cast and I was walking around the street the other day and I found this window which I kind of thought, you know what, I can do something with that window so I thought I would add it to my collection of doodle casts that have to do with found scenes on the street that I can draw on top of so let's see what we can do with this so I thought I would start by whiting out the window and to do that I'm going to use a medium opacity white with a medium brush and sort of build it up and that way I have more control over what I do and I'll be back in a sec. So I filled in the window with white uh, so that kind of gives me a canvas to work with and what I'm thinking what initially struck me with this window itself was that the top part uh, is you can see in stone kind of looked like a crown to me so I thought I could maybe make a face out of the window so now I'm going to color in the crown see how that turns out and I'll get back in a sec so I've gone in and I've filled in the crown the best way that I wanted to now I'm just using the eraser tool and I'm taking out some of the overbleed um, of the yellow that I used for the crown. I also used an orange for the shadows just to give it a little bit of depth. And I can always go back into it later and add in highlights or even more shadow. So now on to the face. So what I actually decided um, to begin with, I'm going to try this out as a knight's helmet with a crown of some sort. If that doesn't work, I can always go back in and change it to something else. So I've gone in and I've taken a full opacity blue and I've filled in a piece of the helmet and now I'm going to start working on the face. To show you how I work up a face, um, I'm just going to record a little bit while I draw. And what I've done is I've chosen a very low opacity uh, pink with a small brush. And I'm just sort of etching in the lines that I want to do. And at this point, I'm trying to figure out what I want to keep, what works for the drawing, and what doesn't. So, that's about it. That's what's going through my head. So I'm now I'm working up the face. I'm just adding pink areas uh, as my base color. And the darker parts that I'm using, I'm basically using the darker color of pink to push back. So what it's doing is it's creating an illusion of depth and the lighter parts are going to push forward and return. It's just one of those tricks that you sort of learn in art school. Talk to you soon. So at this point I filled in a lot of the colors I needed. Um, it's still quite a bit messy but I can always clean that up and we'll see what happens after I add some highlights. I've added some highlights, now I'm just adding in some shadows. Some cast shadows will help give it depth. Well, didn't like that line, so I'm going to erase it. So I'm almost done, and I'm just adding some final highlights to it. Um, yeah, he turned out to be pretty evil, or cocky or something. I'm not sure what, but it's kind of funny. And, uh, yeah, overall I'm pretty happy. And that's it. Uh, 
I'm pretty pretty happy with it considering it was a window so take care and until next time bye made with doodlecast pro